You ask a great deal of me, Sam. I know. But I wouldn't be here if it wasn't important, if it wasn't vital. Fine. Just this once, though. In the future, such things will come at a price. Resetting the type is neither quick nor easy. To say nothing of the cost should I be discovered. I shall not forget this kindness. Nor I. His work will see your last little bit of notoriety erased. Come. I'll show you how to leave now that order's been restored. So now you've had a chance to see how it all works. Until war action is Depending on the severity of your transgression, they may simply search a bit before giving up and returning to their post. But should you offend them severely or repeatedly, they'll become much more aggressive in their pursuits. I've shown you three ways to turn the tide. Remove wanted posters, bribe town criers, or visit a printer to create your own propaganda. This feels wrong. Why not just speak to someone and explain my innocence? We can't be serious. We counter one lie with another. Words on paper instantly taken as truth. And all of it without question. They lose this beast. Or have you forgotten? Here we are. Speak with the harbor master and he'll see you home. Thank you for everything, Sam. I promise one day to repay the favor. Oh, I'm counting on it. Like this. Welcome back. You left me in Boston. The training we've done here is all well and good. But experience is a better teacher by far. What of my father? Into the wind, I'm afraid. We have to find him. And we will. After the house has been repaired. But he's out there plotting who knows what. 
And what would you do when you found him? If you found him? You're a boy with a few months of training. He's a man, full grown, who spent decades honing his skills. If you're going to stand a chance against the Templars, you're going to need these. Sir, please! Help! He's going to die! Who? There's no time! Please, come! Under the bridge! This knobend is trying to say is he's forever in your debt, sir. Who are you calling a knobend? You, because you are one. What were you doing on those logs? One of the dangers of lumbering. We've got the camp set up a few rods off of here as we're cutting timber. We're hoping to open a mill in the area. There's a good place not far from the manor on the hill where I'm staying. <laughs> I like you already. We'll have a look. miss the peace and quiet, but we can certainly use the wood. The manor needs a lot of work. That and other things. Meet me at the small shack by the shoreline when you have time. There's something else you need to see. What is it? An asset.
Thank you. Thank you. Are you all right? I think so. Didn't do much to me aside from a good scare. Blaggards. What did they want with you? My purse, which was meager, and they decided to punish me for their trouble. Silly, really. My tools and equipment were worth a king's share to the right man. In any case, I had best get on my way. It's a long walk to the nearest inn. I thank you again for your kindness. Have you no home? Oh, well, I was a proud resident of Boston until recently, but I'm not a supporter of His Majesty, and, well, I was forced out of my woodshop and home by loyalists. There are plenty around here who could use the services of a skilled craftsman if you were looking for somewhere to settle. Is that right? I may look into that.
from me, but I have them. Get out of sure. Just get me a ship and a crew, and we'll find out what it was he held so dear. I met him once, that chappin. He was seven feet tall if he was an inch. I tell ya, legs like tree trunks on a smithy's arms. Almost broke my hand shaking a little low. I could feel it then when I met him. No weapon made by man could harm him. Quit the town, come here, Amanda, quit.